Hey guys, Chris again from uh, ClassicVWBugs.com and a quick tip today I want to talk to you about is the um, I have an old style uh, 6 volt tranny here that was came out, this is a 61 bug here so I got an old style tranny here uh, we are putting in a later model 1600 engine into this car so the problem with that will be is number one you're going to have to convert to 12 volt I do hear some people that do run still 6 volts on their cars um, but I just still recommend going to 12 volt for that engine. Um, but what you're going to have to do is if you're going with a later model engine, you're going to have to grind out the old uh, bell, um, grind out the bell housing here in the older tranny because the flywheel from the, uh, uh, from the new engine, the 1600, will not fit. It's just a little bit too big. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to get some grinding tools. I'm going to pop up a picture here for you in a second get a uh, set of grinding tools that look like these okay they're going to be able to go on a drill and then what you're going to want to do is it takes some time if you can take the flywheel off of the engine that's good because then you can fit it up into the bell housing and move it around to see what kind of clearance you need most of the time I notice it's it's here on these sections here where the bolts the bolt holes are these have to be ground down. The corners down here are going to have to be ground down. Um, sometimes even these down here. It took us, a, you know, it takes some time to do it. Um, it's going to make a mess too. And uh, I what I suggest is when you're grinding down the bell housing, cover the shaft here with like a cloth or a piece of plastic because you don't want any of the metal shavings, the aluminum shavings actually to uh, get on this shaft and it's, it, it could be messy. So make sure you keep a vacuum nearby because you're going to have those shavings all around the, uh, the bell housing. So um, here's an after picture of uh, how much grinding is going to have to be done. And as you can see in the picture, um, a good amount has been bit pretty much taken off. Um, again, it's all it's it's still feeling around with the the bell house uh, with the uh, the flywheel inside the bell housing, so you have that clearance. Some guys, what they do is if they have enough clearance and the the, the flywheel can spin freely on there, um, what they basically do is they they'll put the engine in. If they notice it's still hitting a little bit here and there, the flywheel will finish the job because the flywheel is full, is steel. The uh, the bell housing is aluminum. So the flywheel will definitely cut the remaining um, uh, you know, sections out of the, the bell housing to, to clear itself out. But I don't recommend really doing that. I've heard some guys do that. Uh, I basically like to just uh, you know, grind it out so you have enough clearance to, uh, from the get-go. But um, that's that tip for grinding down your bell housing for putting a later model engine into an earlier bug. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or you can visit my webpage, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care.